a builder carrying six bricks climbs a ladder so the builder is carrying six bricks each brick weighs 25 newton this is the weight of single brick and the bindle climbs a vertical distance of 4 meter so 4 meter is the height and the time taken is 8 seconds okay so let's calculate the total weight first the weight of total weight is actually the weight of 1 times the number of bricks so 25 times 8 is 200 newtons okay climbs a vertical distance so height is 4 meters and time taken is 8 seconds okay what is the average power for power like it is in like object is moving in upward direction so it would be potential energy over time and potential energy is mgh over time so mg is the weight so we have weight into height over time so weight is 200 height is 4 and time is 8 so 200 times 8 is 800 800 divided by 8 is 100 So, I made little, oh, one second, one second. So, there are six bricks. I wrote eight bricks. So, it would be 150 here. And 150 times six okay and 150 times 4 is 600 and 600 divided by 8 is uh, 75 i think so one second 600 divided by 8 is 75. So this is our correct option. A child of mass 30 kg is moving at a speed of 4 meter per second. So we have mass which is uh, 30 kg and we have speed which is 4 meter per second. When she reaches the bottom of the slide, okay, like here is the its position. What is her kinetic energy? So kinetic energy is of mv square so kinetic energy is half mass is uh, 30 kg and v is 4 square so it is 15 
and 15 times 16, 4 square is 16. So it would be 15 times 16. It is 240. So the correct option is 240. Next is a constant force F pulls a block. This is a constant force and it's a block which is pulled by this force of phase w up the slope like this how much work is done in pulling the block up the slope so length is l distance is l distance travel is l so work done is force into distance So force is F and distance is L. So this is the correct option. Energy is released in some power station and is and in the sun by either nuclear fission or fusion, fusion or fission, nuclear fission. What type of nuclear reaction applies in each case? And in some power station and in the sun. So in power station, in power stations, in power stations, we have a nuclear fission process. And in sun, we have nuclear fusion process. So the possible answer for this question is this one. The diagram shows a girl lifting a box weight 50 newtons so one information is about the weight of the box from a low shelf to a high shelf here is a low shelf low shelf is here and high shelf is here how much work is done on the box You can see the difference of height. The height is total height is 1.8. Total height is 1.8, and the height from here to here is 0 0.6. So this is the remaining. Okay, let's see the remaining height. The remaining height and remaining height is 1.6 minus 0 0.6 is 1.2 so height is 1.2 
and weight is 50 newtons and work done is actually moving in upward direction so work done is actually potential energy and we can say it it would be weight into height so weight is 50 height is 1.2 and it would become 50 times 1.2 is 1.6. Oh, sorry, 60. 60 joule is the amount of work done in moving the box from lower shelf to high shelf. The diagram shows the energy transferred through a machine. Input energy is here, then machine, the useful output, and then wasted amount. The machine is 50% efficient. Which equation is correct? Input, useful output. OK. So useful output. OK. So now we can see input energy is IE which is converted into useful output energy UE plus wasted energy WE. So if we move useful, uh, if we want, if we, if we just move wasted energy, then useful energy would become input energy minus sorry minus wasted energy so let's see 